Yo, what's up, Dragon Squad? And if I'm here, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm back in it for Yu Gi Oh! Masters Duel. So, I, before we get started, I've checked my YouTube channel. And thank you for those who subscribe to my channel. Uh, I definitely appreciate it. And, uh, you know, watch my videos, like my videos. All the way holy crap thank you so much and i definitely definitely appreciate it <laughs> so uh anywho let's get all this out of the way out of the way first i forgot that i did that <laughs> uh claim awards all at once and Hello, there we go. So, the thing that I've collected are actually dual gems. And they're actually pretty awesome because now I'm able to purchase something in the shop. In the dual shop. I already know all this. Structure deck. I'm going for a recontract universe. This is like my favorite deck of all because it has Utopia in it. But I have never in the show never seen this card. Sex of Weapon Dragonic Hellbrub. Hellbred. And Ultimate Dragonic Ultimate Utopia, right? Like, I've never heard of these cards. I guess they must be brand new, but I'm still gonna buy them. There we go. Now I have that as my main deck. And I can add the accessories. Which I am going for a Dark Magician. Which is that. And the thing is, this can actually uh, help you with your duel. By giving a little encouragement. Then you got the Pyrus Battlefield. Which I love. The Protector, I'm going with this one. Chaos Max Dragon. And for the icon, I'm going with Black Luster. Because I look so sick with that picture. Uh, Dual Field. Alright. Uh, oh, special. I forgot about that. So, with the special one, you can actually select either of those and get, like, one, one card. But I'm not going to do that. But here's the packs. Here. Secret packs. Which isn't coming in yet. Because I'm still at a uh, rookie level of level 2. Um, But yeah. There's like all sorts of stuff. In here. So I'm going to select this one. And do 10 pack opening. For a thousand. And for the ones that have rainbow or gold around it, that means there's something rare and special in there. I'll go skip them all and see what we got. Okay. No. No, we just... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me already? A Supreme King Zark? Level 12. What? And this is like divine physics as well because this monster here, Supreme King Zark, is actually the monster of destruction in the show. And he has the power of all of them fusion, pendulum, synchro, and exceeds. All in one. Like, what? It was a guy, Sai Iris, uh, a Dragon Spirit, Arch Wolf, uh, forgot what her name is. Oh, uh, I never heard of this card actually. We also got some of these cards. Ooh, this one is a number monster, which is from the Xyz, uh, Xyz show, uh, Yu Gi Oh! Zexel? Yeah, Yu Gi Oh! Zexel. 
Chaos number 102, Archfiend Seth Saraf. Or, yeah, Seraph. Uh, we also got Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion. This is for Zark. I got another one? All right. Okay. We also got Moon Dragon Quila. That one is from the XC show, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, not exactly like so, but something else. We also got Assault Black Wing from, uh, Arc V. Uh, Fossil Warrior. Chaos Emperor Drake? I've never heard of that one. Uh, Boys Wing Butterfly, that card I have in real life. And you got other stuff in here. So by scrolling down, you're able to see how many cards I have. What the heck is this? On Ice Late. Oh, I remember that one. I remember. Yes! Zheng Sheng Magician. Time Gazer. Ma not Time Gazer, but Time Breaker. Time Gazer's little brother. <laughs> I'm guessing it's just a little brother. Oh, yes. Exceed Shift. That's a good one. But I'm gonna save the rest for the solo stuff. I'm not gonna do an one yet because I wanna train up first. And this is what you gotta do beforehand. Change decks. Recontract the universe. I want to go second. So, here we go. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You have to. E I forgot to tell you guys that I have to equip the fields and our stuff to be able to put in this game. So, that's my bad. But this is an awesome combo. <laughs> Let's go. Takes a weapon, Eagle Claw. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good one or not. I'll put this one face down on defense for now. Then put this one down as well. I just want to see what my opponent has on his side of the field. Hmm. The Dragon Dwelling and Black Lamp Fire Dragon. All right. I think it's time for us. No, I can't summon out this guy at all because I forgot that I have to switch to summon this, then be able to summon another monster. Oh yeah, that's my bad. Uh, I'll just put this down, and in my turn from there. But if I just lose, I would, ju I would just uh, restart it. Or if it looks like that, uh, we gotta lose instantly. Just uh, surrender. <laughs> I mean that's what I did all the time when I was on the switch playing this game. Now is six of weapon phoenix bow. Six of weapon eagle claw. Then I'm gonna place the card face down. Now I'm gonna battle so I won't lose this guy. Hmm. I'm gonna attack this one. The lower it is, the better. Tribute summon. You have to tribute two or three monsters on your side of the field, then you're able to uh, bring forth a monster in the field. I'll be putting this monster in the face down defense. 
Because I think his ability kicks in from there. No wait, that's go 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 golem. Oh no. <laughs> I made a mistake. Ah uh, crap. Ooh, this card comes in effect now. Now I'm able to summon this guy in attack mode. And this guy in attack mode. Now with these two monsters, I'm able to exceed summon Utopia. Oh, you can't attack me now, sucker. I draw. Exceed, change tactics. Alright. I'll be activating this card. And activating this card. <laughs> and activate this card. Which allows me to rank up my Utopia to something more stronger. I see Summit. Ultimate Dragonic Utopia Ray. And because of this ability, I'm able to bring a monster from my deck to my hand or to the field. Or just put it on top of the deck. Either way. <laughs> now, I activate my spells ability from the graveyard. By banishing, I draw one card. Now I equip. No. Yeah, special summon and saber and field in attack mode. Also, in a activate effect by equipping Phoenix Bow to Utopia Dragonic Ultimate Ray or something. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like excited that I'm actually playing this on my uh, laptop. Oh, this one's. Uh, which one? You know what? I'll go for this. It can actually increase. Utopia's attack power more when he when I activate his ability or negate it. Either way, activate effect. I'll be getting this one. And select the targets. Now I'm going to be able to attack with a massive damage. And because of Phoenix Bolt ability, it does a thousand more damage towards the opponent. <laughs> this is like the best game yet to have, you guys. So if you guys want to join in the fun, you have to uh, go on your Switch or your uh, PC laptop or whatever and just download this game and you're able to train it uh, and try it yourself. Train try, you know? <laughs> it doesn't seem like much, but you always do a decoy attack. See what your opponent is hiding. This one is double or nothing, which I can instantly negate my own attack to increase my Utopia attack and do a double attack, but double the damage. But since I don't have that, I pretty much do the old fashioned way. Just let my Phoenix Ball just decrease my opponent's life points by a thousand again. So if I have enough life points, I'm able to win duel. Whereas I'll be summoning this guy in attack mode. Then summon this and feel. Then I attack. And win the duel. <laughs> You see why, like, Xyz is my favorite? It's because of the Utopia. Utopia is the OP 
P original card. I mean, seriously. It's insane. Right, Geki? Okay, let's head back. And... See... If I can... I'm gonna change my profile. Edit. Current name stays the same, icon change. Icon frame stays the same. I am a true dualist. Yeah, you can also change the art as well. There we go. Now, go to your deck. Go to your one of your favorite decks and edit. You can actually add all these right here. So I'll be adding right Geki. Uh, who else? Where? Oh, wait, do I have the... Yes, I do have the shield, okay. Uh... There must be some... I swear that there is this monster that I need to equip. Oh, no. There's the spell card. Uh, I also need this. Oh, here it is. Here they are. I got two extra ones in there. Or do I? Ah, that's why I only got one. So I only do like a one combo, I guess. But I can add this one. Oh, I already have... Sheesh, game. At least tell me. Save and return. Next saved. Once you're done with that, change the accessories. Protector. That one. Dual field. That. Fields. That one. And there we go. I think. Yep, there we go. Now, let's head to... Back to the solo stage. And do the second battle. And the thing is uh that you have to keep on training and loading up uh uh dual gems. So you guys are able to gather the cards that you need for your main deck so you're able to upgrade them towards whatever extent that you guys wanted it to be, you know? Anywho, let's get the game started here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ow. That one hurt. <laughs> hmm. I'll place this one down. And summon this one and attack mode. Activate ability to then discard one card from my hand to the graveyard. Then add a spell to my deck to my hand. 
as an exchange. Hmm. What's this? It's like that. Reveal one card in your hand, and if I do, add one of the following cards from your deck to your hand, and shuffle the. Okay, I'm fine with that. Activate spell. Mm. I'll return this one. Then uh, I'll bring forth this one. Now I'm able to special this card on the field in face of attack position. Now I'm able to exceed summit. Number 39, Utopia. Now I activate my Sage's ability. I bring forth a monster from my deck to my hand. Hmm. I think that can protect me. Actually, I'll do a Twin Saber. Now, I activate my Tiger's ability, which equips into Utopia, which nullifies spells and trap cards to be able to be used on Utopia. And I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> now I end my turn. Oh yeah, if you're wondering, this is called Numbers Protection. It's a counter trap. When a spell or trap card or a monster effect is activated while I control a number of XDs monster, I can then negate the activation, and if I do, destroy that card. If a number, if a number of XDs monster I control is destroyed by battle or card effect while this card is in my graveyard, I can set this card by banish it when it leaves the field. I can only use this card once. And since I already did, <laughs> I'm gonna activate it. Now I draw to Baba Go Go Go. <laughs> to Baba Bacho Ga Ga Ga. This one needs a tribute summon. I'm gonna put this monster in defense. As a little bit protection. Then I'll destroy this card on the left. Oh, this guy has damage cards. Instead of damaging me, I mean, instead of, you know, dealing with it by a loss. His monster's ability allows him to damage me without even pulling out a fight. What a blippin' chicken! Now I summon this one in attack mode. And put this one in attack mode. Now I got it. three for one, baby. Now I know what that one is. Let's see what's under here. Hmm. Same one, huh? Let's see what we get. Stone Statue of Aztecs. Double any damage my opponent take when they attack this monster. And same thing, but inflict 500 damage to my opponent if this card is in the graveyard. I'll take 500 from it. This guy is playing defense for offense. What a flipping chicken! I mean, literally, what the heck? 
It's like someone trust. What does this one do? Target one utopia is like a weapon or sexual supreme monster in my graveyard. Add it to my hand or special it. So summon it from my opponent's shield. Or at least 2,000 or what? Oh yeah, I'm definitely activating this. Helps me out a little bit more. <laughs> Just a summon it. Now I activate Pegasus' ability, which I'm able to special summon on the field. Now his other ability allows me to equip on Utopia. Same thing for this one. <laughs> now... Attack. Yeah, the thing is, my Utopia has an ability which is a lightning shield. It can deflect my own attacks or my opponents. But I'm not gonna deflect my own attacks. Crap that. I draw. Utopia Buster. Hmm, that could be in handy. I can find monsters in my graveyard. I only got is none. Oh well. One. Cool. Trey. Checkmate. And that's how we win the duel. <laughs> Always improvise and strategize of what your opponent is about to do. Then you take that to your next level. You gotta use your brain for this type of game because you don't know what to expect. And if you have your own strategy, then you take it. But be warned, because of the spells and traps, they could counter it. That's a little heads up for you. Uh, and also, just like I said in the tutorial video, uh, Synchro, I already told you guys about the Synchro one, but I didn't tell you guys about, uh, the Xyz one. Um, so the Xyz, I mean, Xyz Infusion, you know, those guys, guys stuff. For Xyz monsters, you have to... Um, equalize of what you're special summoning. You have to say, like, you're summoning a level one exceeds monster. You need one level one and another level one to be become that monster. Same thing for level two, level three, level four, all the way to level 12. And it's actually pretty awesome. But for fusion, you have to equalize of how you got a fusion summon because there are multiple monsters. Let's say I fuse my red supreme sage with my purple supreme sage. And when you fuse them together, you get this one fusion monster. But it has a monster requirement, so are you able to actually special summon it for the fusion monster? Just a little heads up. And also, for the Pendulum one, you have to have two different cards. No matter what monster. Like, let's say I use Scale 1, Stargazer Magician, and Scale 8, Time Gazer Magician. So, with those two monsters on the field, on the Pendulum scales, you have to special summon monsters between 1 through 8, all at the same time to be able to special summon more than one monster on the field. 
but it only has to be pendulum monsters or regular monsters. But you can't special summon regular monsters again once they're once they are defeated. So that's another heads up for you guys. And before we end this video, please smash the like button down below. Hit the like button and the notification button to see what has been uploaded for my channel. So this is Interflame signing up. It's time to roar. I'm out of here. Peace. And see you in the next one.